Hey everybody, Reverend Fuzzy's back again. I'm everywhere you want to be. <laughs> well, this time we're gonna go for a little bit of technology. In this particular case, I'm gonna show you how to add a logo bug graphic to a video you put together in KDAM Live. So let's get straight to it. Let's go. Okay. Let's get into how to add a logo bug to your video. You know, the, the logo bug, that's that little thing down in the corner of your video that identifies either you or your company. Like a little picture or something. It's kind of faded out, so it's like a watermark. But, let's make, a, let's make one for here, shall we? Uh, okay, so if, say if you got your... Uh, your main video already on your timeline. What you're gonna do, this first thing you're gonna do here is uh, make yourself a new title clip and show the background. Okay. Now you come up here in the corner. They got a button mark add image. It's also pulled up by Alt I. Click him, and let's add for our picture. Uh, browse for it, that is. I don't know why I'm saying so many weird things tonight. So we open that, and there it is. Yeah, goodness knows we can't use that, so yeah, we select it, and then uh, lower down the zoom on it to it's something we can use. Usually around 45 is good. Okay, come back here. Drag it to where you want it to be. Like so. Click OK. Alright. Now when you do your logo bug, you're going to want to put this on the video track that is the highest you can go that has nothing on it and in this particular case that would be track V2 so let's drag our title clip down there now you can see it shows up there now it looks good and everything but uh, we usually don't want it at full opacity like that so we do, we come onto our title clip, right click, and we do insert composition, and select composite and transform. Alright, and we drag that out. Okay, now we got something to work with here. Click on your composite and transform here. Set our opacity down to like 40 40 percent, something like that. Now you see it's faded out pretty good from there. And the way that we have it now, it will stay faded out like that all the way through the video. But we don't always want to do that. See if we want it to fade in at a certain point. That's okay too. We just come back to our opacity and we set it. To zero like so now we take our marker and drag it to where we want it to start fading in now we come up here click the plus to add what we call a keyframe that's where it's gonna start now when we want it at our full opacity add us another keyframe. I know it's a lot of confusing keyframes, but this works. Now come down here and click on the dot for that keyframe. You'll notice it marks up red here. Now take your opacity, knock it down 
to the 40% that you were going to use before. Come on, get in there. Uh, close enough. 39 be the same. Okay. Now, bring your marker to where you want it to start fading out. Say it's about there. Add your key frame. And then you where, where you want to finish fading out, go there. And again, put your key frame. Now, this, uh, this one before this is going to act like a hinge point. Select this one here. And we bring our opacity down to zero once again. Now, the way we got it here is you drag it through, you see it, there it is. We had it go from zero to our 40% or close to it as it travels along and then back down to zero again when we go forward right that's working you come check this one should go from our 40 ish percent down to zero and it does woohoo it works let's try it out in actual time here may be a little loud for you. So here it comes. Okay, this is a uh, sample piece of video footage that we're going to use to show how to put a logo bug on your program in KDN Live. And there you have it. It works. So, go ahead and render it. It's done, man. It's done. Okay, everybody, I'm going to take off for now, but before you go, don't forget to show us some love and smack that like button. And if you haven't already done so, also smack that subscribe button, followed by smacking the notification bell, so you'll be notified when we post new videos on here. Alright, catch y'all later.